Meanwhile, industry professionals continue to digest the latest figures from the recent student drug survey. Data shows one out of three high schoolers has thought about suicide. For professionals like Dr. Lockhart, it cements what they are witnessing. Cayman 27's Reshma Raghunath has more. Jada Ramon is no stranger to the spotlight. Behind the smile of the reigning imperial beauty teen is a secret. I've dealt with anxiety and depression for a long time. It started when I was probably about 16 years old. She says she doesn't know why she started having dark thoughts. But I was an avid athlete. I was a runner and I didn't even want to run anymore. I didn't want to be around anyone. Miss Ramon says after she was rushed to the emergency room with a severe panic attack, she knew she needed help. I will never be the same Jada I was before all of my issues, but I've become a stronger Jada who does have a bright future. The recently released student drug use survey found that nearly 250 high schoolers admitted they've tried to take their life. Dr. Lockhart says this stresses a need for public administrators and policymakers to step in and assist students in dealing with the problems that they're facing. We need to underscore the severity of what is happening in that there are increases in terms of the burden that young people feel that they are going through. Mental Health Commission Chairman Dr. Mark Lockhart says while he's not surprised by the data collected, he is troubled that only 5% of those who attempted suicide sought help. When we hear these statistics, and remember this is not just mental health, but this is our social fabric, this is going to be our future. Ms. Ramon hopes that those who are in pain will seek the help they need like she did. But never be afraid to speak to someone. And she's counting on everyone to take mental health at all ages seriously. Reshma Raghunath, Cayman 27. A psychiatric hub at the Cayman Islands Hospital is in the works to help give students support.